just got done with the run. I'm running a marathon next week. So my workouts are easy for the next few days, which is kind of nice, but it's kind of not. Because uh, lately I've been getting the most out of pushing myself. And uh, I've had to take another perspective on the workout today, which was I need to push myself to not push myself too hard. Because the fact is that with a race coming up in nine days, eight days, whatever it is, I'm not going to get any more fit, but I can get more broke. The last several days I've been thinking about the situation with the public and law enforcement and the relationship between those two entities. And uh, a lot of cops out there who feel in some kind of way about the last few developments in the world of law enforcement. And uh, that's understandable. I think there's some cops in the street who are feeling betrayed, feeling let down. There's a lot of the members of the public who feel the same way, and there's a lot of people who feel that way about the police. That's the nature of the world that we live in. I don't think it's right and I don't think it's wrong necessarily. I'm not here to argue that. What I'm here to argue is this. We took this job because it's hard. We took this job, some of us, because we wanted to do something hard. Some of us are answering the call for adventure. I'll admit that's what I was doing. That's what I did when I was 20 years old when I joined the Army. And I knew that what I was doing was signing up to help people. I wanted to do that. I knew that I was signing up for a life of service, and I wanted to do that. But it was not lost on me, and it was not a trivial matter for me that the opportunities that existed in embarking on that life of service came from answering the call to adventure. That's what we're meant to do. We are meant to answer the call for adventure. We are meant to pick up a heavy load and carry it. Right now, if you're a cop, this job is impossible. I've been saying that, I've answered a couple of comments on social media with that in the last few days. This job is impossible. And so, you have to be the kind of person who can do the impossible to do this job. And that's true of a lot of things. It's not just a police thing. It's not just a military thing. It's not just a alpha personality thing. It's impossible to be a good doctor. You have to save lives. You have to bring people back from the dead. You have to cure disease. It's impossible to be a good politician. You have to run a government and make policy. It's impossible to be a good teacher. It's impossible to be a good nurse. And it's impossible to be a good cop. And the only people who have any chance of doing that are the people who try. Because I can tell you now, the cops who say, to hell with it, I'm going to watch Netflix in the parking lot behind Target and wait for a call to come out, they have zero chance of doing this job well. The cops who say, I'm not going to be proactive, they have zero chance of doing this job well. And like, the rest of us have like a 1% job chance of doing this job well. Those of us who do this job because it is hard. Those of us who say, I'm going to look at the new challenges and I'm gonna find a way to do this job excellently, excellently despite the fact that there are new challenges. Chase policy came out. You can't chase a car. Oh, well, you better find another way of being an excellent cop. Use of force policy changed. 
oh well, you better find a new way of being an excellent cop. Case law came down that redefines the limits of qualified immunity or your ability to do your job without fear of frivolous prosecution. Oh well, you better find a new way of doing this job excellently. And if you're not trying to do this job excellently, then what the hell are you doing here? Because this job demands excellence. Nothing less will suffice. There is too much at stake. Mistakes get made. But mistakes need to be learning opportunities. When mistakes are used as excuses, when mistakes are used as a, a reason to do the job poorly or to not do the job at all, that's unacceptable. So I say this, if you want to sit in a parking lot and wait for a call to come out, fine. When that call comes out, you better do the job excellently. And when you're sitting in that parking lot, your mind better be in the right place. And if the place is to hell with them, I'm going to give them the cops they deserve. Let me tell you something. I don't care what people's opinion is. I don't care how they voted. I don't care what they say. I don't care if they support BLM or if they back the blue. Every single person is entitled to excellent police service. Period. If you can't give it to them, then get the hell out of this profession.